Welcome to the workout today. I am super happy you're here. If we haven't been introduced before, I am Emily Quisenberry. I am a food freedom and strength training coach, and I actually help women heal their relationship with food, eliminate yo-yo dieting, so that they can really live fit, healthy, and strong in their body, soul, and their spirit for the rest of their life. So I'm super happy you're here. If we are not connected already, you can, um, we can be <laughs> through social media, um, through Facebook, here on my Facebook page, which is Emily Quisenberry Biz, um, through my Instagram, which is at Emily Quiz Fitness, or on YouTube. Because if you're not catching this video live, then um, it will be uploaded to YouTube this afternoon, hopefully. So, um, I did want to start our time together with a quick word of encouragement from um, really my devotion this morning. And I wanted just to um, read this to you and then share some share scripture that I'm praying will really bless you. Um, the thing I have learned is that doing physical reps in working out builds right physical strength. But it's the same as the same is true in our mental. Um, in our mind, in our heart, and in our spirit, is we can do reps that actually help us to build strength in those areas as well. So, today, um, April 2nd, it says, I have promised to meet all your needs according to my glorious riches. Your deepest, most constant need is for my peace. I have planted peace in the garden of your heart where I live, but there are weeds growing there too. Pride, worry, <laughs> does anybody worry right now? Selfish, selfishness and unbelief. I am the gardener and I am working to rid your heart of those weeds. I do my work in various ways. When you sit quietly with me, I shine the light of my presence directly into your heart. In this heavenly light, peace grows abundantly and weeds shrivel up. I also send trials into your life. When you trust me in the midst of trouble, peace flourishes and weeds die. Thank me for troublesome situations. The peace they can produce far outweighs the trials that you endure. So I think what a fitting um, message for today. And just to be remembering that, that no matter what trial we are in, God's peace is available to us. Um, and in 2 Corinthians 4, 16 through 18, in the message version, here's what it says. It says, so we're not giving up. How could we? Even though on the outside it often looks like things are falling apart on us, on the inside where God is making new life, not a day goes by without his unfolding grace. These hard times are small potatoes compared to the coming good times, the lavish celebration prepared for us. There's far more here than meets the eye. The things we see now are here today, gone tomorrow, but the things we can't see Will last forever and that's my encouragement to you today is to remember God is making new life that the trials that we go through in this life actually refine us and help us to look more like Jesus um, and so today as we move our body um, I want you to think about that so I'm gonna pray really quickly and then we'll get going Lord Jesus I thank you for this time I thank you for technology I thank you for the ability that we have to meet together like this to move our bodies in love, remembering that you are the God of peace and that your peace passes all understanding. And I pray for anyone right now who is just struggling, that they would lean into that peace and that they would trust you, that they would lay down their worry and really just um, receive your love that you are pouring out on them. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, super excited to get going. If you do not have water, I would recommend having some. I would also tell you to put on some great music that you love. I am not going to have music on for a couple of reasons. I don't want to distract um, so, that you can, so that you can't hear my voice well. And then number two, um, sometimes YouTube has issues, and Facebook even can, with music if it's copyrighted. And so I don't want there to be any problems with this recording or with this live. So I'm not going to have music, but I encourage you to. 
We're gonna have a bench or a chair. And you can, if you're inside, you can also use your fireplace. You could use your countertop or you could use your coffee table um, for any of the things that we're going to do. So just get creative. This doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we are gonna get this done and it's not gonna be perfect. And so I was actually already just laying that down at the foot of the cross this morning because I'm a performer, I'm an achiever, I want things to go well. Um, but God continues to remind me that it's in showing up and trusting him where the true um, peace is and where joy is. So um, those are the things I wanted to remind you of. So make sure that you have your water, make sure that you have a bench of some sort, a mat or a towel, and then we're also gonna have some weights if you have them. I wanna show you something though. This is something you can actually use if you have just a, a big bottle of some kind of a cleaner. Um, you can actually use that as your weight if you don't have weights. Um, and you can also choose to do any of the moves without weight. That is your choice. Okay, so today we are gonna do four supersets. If you did the workout last week, um, that means you're going to do two exercises back to back and we're going to do three sets of each. And we're going to take a break. We'll do two, another superset um, and so on and so on. So I'm going to guide you through that as we go. Um, our very first superset is going to be a goblet squat. It's actually a one and a half goblet squat. So you're going to put feet hip width apart. You're going to need to play with how your toes feel best. I have my toes out just a little bit because that feels really good to me. If you are using a weight, you're gonna take the weight and put it right underneath your chin and just hold it. We're gonna take a big deep breath, fill your belly up, and then I want you to go ahead and um, squat. Now a squat was, is where you are going to drive your butt. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see me really well. So right, I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna show you the superset, then you're gonna do it. So the goblet, one and a half goblet squat is gonna look like this. Down, do you see how my butt's way, way back? I'm gonna come halfway up, I'm gonna go back down, and then I'm gonna come up, that's one. Okay, so it's a one and a half. So down, halfway up, back down, and up. The next thing we're gonna do is a hand elevated push up. We did these last time, if you were with me. If not, I'm gonna show you. You can put your hands on a bench, you can put your hands on your counter, a wall, you can put your hands on your fireplace, coffee table, chair. But do you see how I have a straight line from my head down to my toes? I'm not doing this, okay? I'm holding my belly in really, really tight. And then you're just simply gonna lower your chest to the surface. And you wanna do that so that you wanna pick a surface and a level that is gonna allow you to do 10 reps of the push-ups. Okay, so we're gonna do the one and a half goblet squat right into the push-up, then we're gonna take a break, okay? So ready, I'm gonna to turn to the side so that you can see me. Again, feet hip width apart, figure out if it feels better for your toes to track forward or to the side. And we're gonna go in three, two, one. Down, halfway up, down, one. Down, halfway up, down, two. Down, halfway up, down, three. Squeeze your butt. Down, halfway up, down, four. Squeeze. Down, halfway up, down, five. Down, halfway up, down, six. Keep going. Down, halfway up, down, seven, really, drive through your heels. Down, halfway up, down, eight. Down, halfway up, down, nine. Down, halfway up, down, 10. Good job, that is not easy. Okay, go ahead and get ready for your push-ups. Hand elevated push-ups in three, two, one. One down, two down, three down, four down, five down, six down, seven, keep going, down, eight 
down nine, down 10. Good job. Now we're going to take a little rest. Um, so I want you to, you can keep moving around, get some water, um, but I want you to know that strength training is such a valuable way to exercise. Um, I mean, from a physical perspective, it helps you build strength, um, it helps you feel tighter, helps your posture, um, it helps bone density, especially as we age. But the other thing that's so awesome is you feel strong. It can help you feel more confident. Um, and again, the reps that we do in building strength really helps us to see how doing reps of changing thoughts in our mind or changing the way we feel about something is the same thing. We have to do the rep over and over and over again to build the strength to see change. And so it's such a great mirror, I think, for what life is really like. Um, and so that's my hope for you, is that you'll see the value of strength training and that you make this a part of your week, um, your weekly regimen. I work out personally three times a week. I do a lower body day, I do an upper body day, and I do a full body day. What I am doing with you guys is full body days, okay? So we're gonna get going again. I'm gonna do the goblet squat, squat to the front this time. In three, two, one, down, halfway up, down, one, down, halfway up, two, down, halfway up, down, three, down, halfway up, down, four, down, halfway up, down, five, down, halfway up, down, six, keep going, down, halfway up, down, seven, down, halfway up, down, eight, make sure that you're tight, down, halfway up, down, nine, down, halfway up, down, and 10. Just making sure how things are going. Oh, love from Turkey, Sinan, it's so good to see you. Um, okay, let's go right into our push-ups. Get on the surface that's gonna serve you best, that you can do 10. Okay, ready? In three, two, one, down, one, down, two. Really tighten your core. Down, three, down, four, down, five. Keep going. Down, six. Keep going. Down, seven. Down, eight. Down, nine. Down, ten. Good job. Okay, we're going to take another break. Grab some water if you need it. You can, you know, stretch, you can swing your arms, you can do big circles. Because especially if you've never really done push-ups, with my one-on-one -on -one clients, I program push-ups right from the beginning. Because what I have realized as a woman, and as a woman who used to not strength train, um, I was not able to do push-ups when I first started. And so I just started working on them, started working on them, and kept working on them, kept working on them. And now, push-ups are just something that I can very easily do. The same is true for you. Wherever you're starting with your ability to do push-ups is good enough. Do not should on yourself. Do not shame yourself for thinking there's something wrong with you if you're doing them on the wall. Push-ups are bearing the full weight of your body. And so, for most women, we are not as strong in our upper body as we are in our lower body. And so it takes time to build that strength. But what you're gonna find is that it really quickly starts to build and you're gonna see a difference. And you're gonna be able to lower your hands and lower your hands and lower your hands until eventually you are going to be doing them on the ground. And that feels really amazing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we're gonna do our last set of goblet squats. One and a half goblet squat. Okay, ready? Feet hip width apart. Get your toes in a comfortable position. Remember, booty goes way, way back. 
in three, two, one, down, halfway up, down, squeeze, down, halfway up, down, squeeze, that's two, down, halfway up, down, three, down, halfway up, down, four, down, halfway up, down, five, keep going, down, halfway up, down, six, down, halfway up, down, seven, squeeze, down, halfway up, down, eight, down, halfway up, down, nine, one more, come on, you can do it, down, halfway up, down, ten, good job, don't be surprised if you're a little sore tomorrow, that is a challenging move, okay, let's get ready for our push-ups, get onto your surface, in three, two, one, down, one, down, two, keep going, I would rather see you at a higher level, down four, than to be doing poor form, down five, down six, down seven, keep going, down eight, down nine, down ten, good job, okay, now we are going to take a break, and I'm going to go ahead and teach you the next superset. Our next superset is called a B, a B as in A and B, B stance RDL. An RDL is a Romanian deadlift. Um, deadlifts are great for the back side of your body, your hamstrings, your butt, your lower back. Um, and a B stance is going to be, we're going to start with our right foot forward, okay? We have a little bit of a spread. Um, don't be on a balance beam. So foot, your left foot is not directly behind your right. It's over to the side about hip width. And your toe is about at the back of your heel, of your front heel, okay? So you can see I don't have a huge spread. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring that back toe, that back foot up onto its toe. This is a B stance, okay? Because what it's gonna do is it's gonna force you to put most of your weight and the effort that you're putting into this move into the one leg that's straight. So in this case, it's our right leg, okay? So you're gonna feel this all down this right side um, of your hamstring. What you're gonna do with your, if you don't have weights, it's fine. You could use, like I said, a gallon of something. I've got my weights in my hand. You're simply going to hinge like you're shutting a door, okay? You're not going like this, leaning forward. See how the difference in my butt? You're really pushing that butt back like you're shutting the door. I want you to imagine there's a door behind you and your butt has to shut it, okay? Your booty's shutting it. Your weights or your hands are gonna just slide along your legs to right below your knees. Head is down, looking at the floor. You're not doing this, okay? Head down and then you come up. Booty back, hands straight, head down, come up. I just want you to really get this move, okay? So I want you to practice that a little bit. The next thing we're gonna do is a double stop single arm row. And this is what a double stop single arm row looks like. <laughs> um, you can do this on a, a table, um, a coffee table, your hearth. Um, you're just gonna lean over. You can also use your, I'll use this. You're gonna pull your arm halfway up, then you're gonna pull it all the way up, and then you're gonna go back down. I'm gonna do it this way. Halfway up, all the way up, down. So you see I'm not going like this and like jerking. You have to use a weight that you can simply pull, pull, down. Pull, pull, down, okay? So that's our second, um, super set. I did go a little bit longer in teaching that to you because I really want you to understand form is so important. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started with our B stance RDL. We're going to do this on both legs. So split your feet apart, toe up on that left leg in three, two, one, hinge. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, keep going, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm turning around, I'm putting my left foot forward, right foot up on its toe, in three, two, one. Down, up, down, really feel it through that back leg. Head down. This is five. Scrape your legs with your weights. Seven. Stick that booty back like you're closing the door. Eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do the double stop single arm row. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me, but if you're on a bench, you put your knee up on it. I'm just not doing it because of the, because of the way I'm standing. Pull, pull, down. Pull, pull, two. Pull, pull, three. Pull, pull, four. Keep going. Pull, pull, five. Pull, pull, six. Pull, pull, seven. Pull, pull, eight. Pull, pull, nine. And then pull, pull, ten. Okay, get over on the other side. I'm going to do this one on the bench. So my knee is on the bench, right, right knee on the bench. Weight is in my left hand. Right hand is down, back like a tabletop. Pull, pull, down. Pull, pull, two. Don't use momentum. Three. Pull, pull, four. Keep going. Pull, pull, five. Pull, stop, six. Pull, stop, seven. Pull, stop, eight. Pull, stop, nine. Pull, stop, ten. Good job. Okay, now we're going to take a little break and then we'll do that again, okay? So when we're doing, when you're working out with weights, you want to make sure that you are doing, if you're doing like a full body like we're doing today, you want to do push exercises and you want to do pull exercises um, so that you're working your body equally and so that you're not just, like you'll see some people who will simply work like their chest only and they don't work their back. Well, that's going to create an evenness in your body and it actually can really lead to injury because you're not building both sides of the body. Same thing with your arms. If you're doing like bicep curls, then you want to do triceps because you're working. Do you see how I'm doing? This is a pull, this is a push. Okay? Same thing with like a bench press or um, a push up. That's a push. And then a pull is like what we're doing now with our row. We're pulling it. So that's um, kind of how you want to formulate your workouts. Okay, we are about to do our next um, super set. Right leg forward, left leg on its toes. In three, two, one, close the door. Come up, down, up. Three, down, four, five, really squeeze through that back leg. Six, that front, that front leg. Seven, keep going. Eight, keep going. Nine, ten. Okay? Met the other leg forward. So I've got my left leg and my right leg is on its toes. And three, two, one, down, up. Really have those weights slide along your uh, legs. Three, four, head down, follow your spine. Five, push that booty back. Six, Seven, keep going. Eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now look at a smile. <laughs> we get to do this today. We get to move our bodies and we get to remember that God is in control. Okay, ready? In three, two, one, pull, pull, one. Pull, pull, two. Don't use momentum. Pull. Pull, three. Pull, 
pull, four, pull, pull, five, pull, pull, six, keep going, pull, pull, seven, three more, pull, pull, eight, pull, pull, nine, pull, pull, ten. Okay, we're going to do the other side, so I'm going to get over on this other side of my bench. In three, two, one, pull, pull, one, pull, pull, two, pull, pull, three, pull, pull, four, pull, pull, five, you should feel this in your back, pull, pull, six, keep going, pull, pull, seven, this is through your lats. Pull, pull, eight. Pull, pull, nine. Pull, pull, ten. Good job. Okay, we're gonna take another little break, get some water. You can stretch your arms. You may feel be feeling this, right? Because you've done some things on the front in your push. You've done some things in a pull. In our legs, we've done squats, which squats are a great compound move. They really um, work the fronts of our legs and the backs of our legs. Um, deadlifts, which is what we did this superset with our B stance, that really works the back side of our body in a really big way. And if you will really focus when you're doing that B stance and really think about pushing the floor away with the foot that's out in front, like through that heel, think about pushing the floor away from you then you're really gonna activate the back part of that leg. Okay, we've just got a few more seconds and we're gonna do our last set of B-stance RDLs. Remember, Romanian deadlifts, followed by our double stop, single arm row. Okay, ready? In three, two, one. Shut the door, one. Shut the door, two. Scrape your legs, three. Head down, four. Push the floor away, five, six, seven, keep going, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, we're going to do our left leg forward, right leg on its toes in three, two, one, down, two, scrape your legs, three, shut the door, four, Keep your head in line with your spine, five. <laughs> Push the floor away, six, seven. Come on, you got this. Eight, nine, 10. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna do our last set of double stop single arm row. In three, two, one, pull, pull, one. Pull, pull, two. Pull, keep your arm in line with your back, three. Pull, pull, four. Pull, pull, five. Pull, pull, six. Pull, pull, seven, keep going. Pull, pull, eight. Pull, pull, nine. Pull, pull, ten. Okay, switch sides. I'm going to be on my left side now. In three, two, one. Pull, pull, one. Pull, pull, two. Really feel that in your back. Pull, pull, three. Use your back to pull it. Four. Pull, pull, five. Pull, pull, six. Keep going. Pull, pull, seven. Pull, pull, eight. Pull, pull, nine. Pull, pull, ten. Good job, excellent job. Okay, now we're gonna do our third superset. Our th third superset I'm gonna show you is a side lateral to a curtsy. And I'm gonna scoot this bench out of the way because we're about to 
do some different things and I need that out of the way. So if you have your bench, you can kind of just move it aside. Okay, a side lateral, you can do it with or without weight. So I'm gonna show you what it would look like with weight. Okay, you're going to go out to the side and you're going to leave the left leg more straight and the right leg is gonna bend, okay? So you're kind of pushing into that hip. This is a side lateral. Then you're gonna step back in with the bent leg back here. Then we're gonna go straight into a curtsy. And it's just like it sounds. You curtsy down and then you come back up, okay? So a curtsy, that, that right leg, the one you stepped out with, is gonna go behind you and down and then back up. So that's one. So this is two, and you're gonna do it all on the same leg, okay? We're gonna do 12 per leg. Then we're gonna go into what is called a Zotman, a Zotman curl. Now, you may be familiar with this, um, it's a bicep curl. You start with your palms facing your body, get comfortable, like I like feet hip width apart, and then you're going to curl up, turning your palms towards your shoulders. And then you're gonna lower in a three second lowering, it's called an eccentric. So one, two, three, okay? And then one, then down, one, two, three, and then you go up, one, two, three, palms in, palms facing your shoulders, one, two, three. Okay, that's a Zotman. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use this five pound just because I have it and it's simple. <laughs> so we're gonna get ready um, to do our side lateral into a curtsy on the right side. In three, two, one. Out, in, back, together. That's one. In, back, two. Out, in, back, three. Keep going. Four, together. That's four. Out, in, back, five. Out, in, back, six. Out, in, back, seven. Out, in, back, eight. Out, in, back, nine. Out, in, back, 10. Out, in, back, 11. One more. Back, out, in, back, 12. Okay. Get ready to do it on the other side. Ready? Out, in, back, up, out, in, back, two, out, in, back, three, out, in, back, four, out, in, back, five, out, in, back, six, out, in, back, seven, out, in, back, eight, out, in, back, nine, out, in, back, ten, come on, two more, out, in, back, eleven, you got this, out, in, back, up, good job. That is not easy. That is not easy. You're going to be feeling that, I have a feeling. Okay, grab your bicep, grab your dumbbells if you have them. If not, you can grab, um, you know, like canned vegetables or canned items. Um, if you have two smaller containers, like cleaning um, containers, you know, like your sprays, you could use those. Palms facing your body in three, two, one, up. One, two, three, palms to your side. Up, two, one, two, three, two. Up, three, two, one, three. Up, three, two, one, four. Up, three, two, one, 
five, up, three, two, one, six. Don't rock, don't throw yourself. Up, three, two, one, seven. Up, three, two, one, eight. If it gets too much, let the weights go. Up, three, two, one, nine. Up, three, two, one, ten. Up, three, two, one, eleven. Up, three, two, one, twelve. Good job. Okay. We're going to take another little break, grab some water, and then we're going to repeat um, that again with the side lateral to a curtsy lunge, followed immediately by the Zotman curl. We'll do that two more times, and then we're going to do a finisher. Okay, get ready for superset number three, second set. We got our side lateral into a curtsy lunge. In three, two, one, out in, back, together. Out, in, back, together. Out, in, back, I think we're at four. Out, in, back, five. Out, in, back, six. Out, in, back, seven. Out, in, back, eight. Keep going. Out, in, back nine, out, in, back 10, out, in, back 11, out, in, back 12. Good job, not easy. Okay, we're gonna do it on the other leg now, left leg, in three, two, one, out, in, back, together, out, in, back, two, out, in, back, three. Out, in, back, four. Out, in, back, five. Keep going. Out, in, back, six. You're doing awesome. Out, in, back, seven. Out, in, back, eight. Keep going. Out, in, back, nine, out, in, back, 12, oops, 10, out, in, back, 11, out, in, back, 12. I may have gotten that one totally jacked up. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, ready, zop and curl, palms facing your body. You're gonna bring them up, turn your palms to face your shoulders, and then remember a slow, eccentric. Ready, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, two, up, three, two, one, three, up, three, two, one, four, up, three, two, one, five, up, three, two, one, six, up, Three, two, one, seven. Up, three, two, one, eight. Keep going. Up, three, two, one, nine. Up, three, two, one, ten. Up, three, two, one, eleven. One more. Up, three, two, one, twelve. Well done. Good job. Okay, we're gonna take another little break, about a minute. So go ahead and get some water if you need it. And we'll do our final set of this super set. So our side laterals to curtsies and our zopping curls. We'll take another minute break. Then we're gonna do two rounds of our finisher. So you guys are doing fantastic. Always, always, always warm up. Do some stretching, do some like laps to kind of walk up or walk around your house or walk outside. And then when you're done, Always, always take time to stretch. It's so good for you. When your muscles are warm, you're actually gonna find that you are more flexible than when your muscles are like colder. So after a workout is a fabulous time to do what they call a static stretch, where it's not movement that's stretching you, 
but it's actually holding the pose to get deeper into that pose. So that's really, really powerful. And super important. And the other thing that's super important, I'll talk about in the next one, which is rolling. Okay, ready? We're gonna go side lateral to a curtsy in three, two, one. Out, in, back, one. Out, in, back, two. Out, in, back, three. Out, in, back, four. Out, in, back, five. Out, in, back, six. Out, in, back, seven. Out, in, back, eight. Keep going. Out, in, back, nine. Out, in, back, 10, out, in, back, 11, out, in, back, 12. Perfect. Okay, switch sides in three, two, one, out, in, back, one, out, in, back, two, out, in, back, three, out, in, back, four, out, in, back, five, out, in, back, six, you got this, out, in, back, seven, out, in, back, eight, keep going, out, in, back, nine, out, in, back, 10, two more, out, in, back, 11, back, in, out, 12, <laughs> I think I got that wrong, anyway, good job, okay, we're now going to do our Zotman curl, feet hip width apart, palms facing in, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, one, three, two, one, two, up, three, two, one, three, up, three, two, one, four, up, three, two, one, five, up, three, two, one, six, up, three, two, one, seven, up, keep going, three, two, one, eight, up, three, two, one, nine, up, three, two, one, ten, three, two, one, eleven, three, two, one, twelve. Good job. Okay. Rolling is super important. Rolling is going to help your muscles as well. It's going to help your recovery. It's going to help all kinds of things. So if you do not have a foam roller, I definitely recommend that you get one and then you start rolling. You're going to find tight spots, sore spots, places that you need to kind of maybe roll into a little bit, but it really does help with recovery. It helps with your muscle soreness, stiffness, and working out any kinks that you have. The other thing I want you to know is that as you get stronger, you're going to need to progress so that your muscles continue to have overload, okay? So when you can do three sets of the same um, movement and it's fairly easy, you need to somehow make it harder. So you can make it harder by adding more weight, you can make it harder by slowing down like on your eccentric, like we did on that bicep. You can also make it harder by doing a one and a half, like we did on our goblet squat, right? So a goblet squat, squat would be like down, up. Well, what we did today was down, halfway up, down, up. You can also add a pause in any movement. That's gonna also make it harder. That's how you're going to get progressive overload in a workout, especially at home with limited equipment. And I'm gonna go ahead and explain our finisher today. The finisher 
today is going to be a, a walkout, and it's going to be, you're going to do two rounds of the finisher. It's a walkout, um, followed by a rear delt raise, followed by bicycle crunches. And you're going to do two sets of each of those. So walk out, rear delt raise, bicycle, walk out, rear delt raise. And you want to do it as quickly as you can. Okay? And that's how we're going to finish our workout. So a walkout looks like this. You're standing up, you put your hands down, and you use your hands to walk out to a plank, and then you walk back in. Okay? You can also do it on like a bench if you need to, but it would be harder on a bench. So just out, up. And then our rear delt raise, you're going to lean over, okay? Not like a tabletop, but at an angle, and raise your arms. Not throwing them, not like this, okay? But like just lifting them. And I'm using fives, and fives may even be too heavy. And then you're going to follow by a bicycle crunch. And a bicycle crunch is one, one, two, two, like this, okay? And you're gonna do eight per side. Six walkouts, 10 rear delt raise, and eight bicycle crunch. That's the finisher. Okay, are you ready? We're getting ready to do our finisher. Six walkouts, 10 rear delt raises, eight bicycle crunches. In three, two, one. Walk out. One. Tighten your core. Two. Really tighten your core. Three. Four. Do what you can do. Five. Don't just stand. Do something. If this is too much, and the going up and down makes you dizzy, don't do it. Do something different. Just kind of go out to your bench. Go out to your counter. Okay, 10 rear delt raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, down on the ground, bicycle crunches. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Go right back in to six walkouts. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Good job. Grab your weights. One, rear, rear, rear delt raise. Two, don't fling it. Three, four, five, six. You should feel this in the back of your shoulders. Seven, eight, Nine, ten. Good job. Last thing, bicycle crunch. Ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Well done. Good job. I'm so, so proud of you. Um, you really stuck with it, and you worked hard today. I'm obviously breathing heavy. That's hard. Doing a finisher, a strength finisher at the end of your workout can be a really great thing to help. Kind of boost your heart rate up a little bit. It helps you because you're having to push because you're tired. You just worked really hard. You're kind of fatigued, and you push, push, push. That's how you're going to gain strength and gain muscle um, in your workouts. So... I'm really proud of you for what you've done today, for your work, for showing up, blessing yourself, body, soul, and spirit um, in your workout. So if you need help, if you need support, encouragement, if you have a question, 
please don't hesitate to reach out. I am here to help you. My goal is to help women learn how to heal their relationship with food, to stop yo-yo dieting, to eliminate binge eating and compulsive overeating, and really to learn how to live fit, healthy, and strong in your body, your soul, and your spirit for the rest of your life, right? I have struggled with this for decades, and God has finally really shown me how to do that. Not perfectly, I want you to know that. It is not perfect, but he has taught me how to receive his grace that he abundantly pours out on me, and then to extend it to myself so that when I mess up, not if, but when, I learn how to move forward and learn and grow. I learn how to activate the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And I walk forward in my life, not allowing what I did to define who I am. Because I'm gonna tell you, sister, you are a daughter of the Most High. You are an heir to the throne of our Heavenly Father. You are a masterpiece. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And I am super grateful for you. So let me know how I can help you. And until next time, be blessed.